All right, everybody, we are live here with our first place team after day two, Buddy Streeper. We just saw his team barrel, barrel, I mean race, I mean run, I mean have fun up Cordova Hill. How'd that feel? Really good, actually. It makes me feel light. <laughs> <laughs> so it was a good, strong team performance up there, and uh, it was nice. They got a nice pass. Nikki was on the right, I was on the left. There was good space, and the team was feeling good, and it just, he, some say the magic carpet ride when they run up like that, and it was. It was a good run, I'm proud of them. And how long was the string today? I run 18 dogs, 20 yesterday, and really thought it wasn't a big advantage to have that many dogs out there because of the technicality parts of this trail. So I strategically just removed two dogs that are 100% sound, just to shorten it up, and I really thought it was beneficial. Um, and I think I'll do it tomorrow again to bring it to 16, which will allow me just to have a little more control of that team and create a better flow and better rhythm. Because tomorrow's reverse start again. That's, That's the, right. And yeah. then it's, it, this year, it's, it, we're doing a little bit different, right? No, it's the exact same, honestly. I two days of reverse yeah, start? it's been two days okay. for the last 25 years. So um, reverse start both days. It's just so exciting at the finish line in Cordova to watch these teams uh, uh, come by in groups and clusters. Well, I know nobody wants to ask you, have you thought much about what it would be like tomorrow if you were to tie George Atla? Well, actually, my daughter, Clara. Remember yeah, come on morning, in, Clara. Clara asked that exact same question this morning. She goes, Dad, how are we going to celebrate if you win? And what did I say? Uh, you said, uh... <laughs> All right, just to repeat for Clara for the mic, that Buddy's going to do everything the exact same that he always does tomorrow. And that is care for the dogs, you know, have a good sleep, love my kids, say hi to the fans, you know, enjoy life. And uh, I'm not uh, uh, too mixed up on the overall results, but the more of the feeling of getting there. And uh, maybe that's the patience and the wisdom you get with old age, eh, Right? <laughs> hey, we got some fans here. Tammy Mastiff. Hi, Clara. There you go. There we you have go, Sarah. Gardner, good job, bro. My sister, Sarah, Sarah right, they're all watching right now. So, what do you want to say? I know you got Terry, you got your family back home. What do you, uh, want to say? you got some friends you want to say hi to? Yeah, um, my friend Ivy Thompson. She lives in Fort Nelson, BC. Ivy Thompson? Yeah, she's one of my best friends. Oh, does she help with the dogs ever? Uh, no, but she loves dogs. Oh, great, okay. So, she's one of us, she loves dogs. Okay. And then and all of our family and all of our supporters, we've got a large network of people that are helping us out this year. And we just really appreciate everybody. And thanks to Kale and the crew for doing the live. It just uh, allows this to be, uh, uh, you know, global. And uh, we appreciate everything you do. We love it too, man. Here's a few more. This is great. Uh, Tom, Tom Trost, congratulations, buddy, from Minnesota. Yeah. And we got people watching all over the world here, right? The champions get on this channel. There's Tony Spears Solomon saying, hi, buddy. So yeah, truly we're really a family. Of the team and uh, now we're uh, the dogs finished really well. We had a good finish and also we're 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 just giving some post exercise supplements right now. Yep, let's talk and, about that. And the dogs, uh, it's a it's a they need the glycogen after a hard workout. Any professional athlete, you'll see them on the bench on the sidelines. They're they're intaking usually some sort of glycogen in the form of Powerade or Gatorade or different uh, brands. And that's similar to what we're doing here with the dogs. Uh, we're replacing. Uh, the electrolytes and the glycogen that they burn during the uh, the, uh, the strenuous exercise that they just had. And if they get this within 40 minutes post-exercise, um, after two hours, they've made like a 95% recovery of what they burned for the day. So it's really, really important that they get it, but it's also important to show you how, how the dogs feel. If the dogs take this in, that shows that they were well within their comfort zone. And that is a gauging limit for me, or a gauging barometer for me to see maybe who was a little tired maybe and they didn't even show me they're tired they're just showing me here in the box they were but i'm not seeing that. oh i'm not seeing that so everybody drinks which shows me that they're well within their comfort low comfort zone and uh we should be able to have another healthy strong team tomorrow well we're excited what do you think you're doing differently than other mushrooms are you training longer miles no. earlier in the year no more we, love no what is it well i would say everybody asks that same question what is the secret and it's really you know my good friend said it's it's a million things you got to tick for. And it's not like every one's different. Like everything's so similar in this sport that um, um, it's just the small minute things that you do. But it's a, it's a year round effort and it's missing the Hawaii vacation for the fourth year in a row. And it's uh, skipping uh, um, birthdays in the winter time because uh, we got to go train dogs. Remember that? Oh, yeah. It's tough driving home from Alberta with a one day old baby because we got to get home to start training dogs again. Remember that trip? Yeah. That's right. And that was Clara when she was born in, in Alberta. We brought her home on one day old. 
to uh, a 600 kilometer drive to get home so we could keep running dogs. So Really? Yeah. And Tammy just asked, what year can we look forward to Clara competing in Rondi Championship? Well, how old are you now? She's 10, 10 and the years old is 18. I raced this my first time when I was 18. Would you like to try it when you're 18? So yeah! You and today is 2023. In what year could you do that? Some higher math here, and we got the girl power headband on. <laughs> Three and eight. Twenty-three plus eight. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Twenty thirty-one. So that's part of what we do with these kids as well, is we like to expose them, allow them to meet new people, and encourage them to uh, to soak it all in. And uh, we're trying our best with Clara here with our with our additional math skills, right, Clara? On the road, no, it's awesome, and we love it. And Claire, you're an inspiration, and, and all the junior musters out here. We had junior. I did it out this morning, right? A couple weeks ago, we had the junior willows. Were in the parade. The Asda junior yep. mushers had, were part of the parade while we were over here. They were uh, throwing candy to the public to encourage awareness of sled dogs, and it's uh, it's a great sport to be a part of, and it teaches uh, good work ethic, responsibility with animals. Oh, here's Alva. Here's Alva. You want to try some math for these guys? <laughs> How old are you? Okay, and if you're 18, you can race this. So how many years do you have to wait? Five. Okay, five years no, 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 no. <laughs> Yep. Six. <laughs> Six years. Yeah. All right. And what year will that be? If today is 2023. In six years. It will be. 2029. Very. So we good. got some good good years ahead of us, right? Yeah. It will be on the fourth half tomorrow. Want to say hi to any yeah, say hi to Mama. some folks back home. Alva, you work hard out here. Uh, some friends? I don't Who's back Who's home watching? Um, my friends, uh, Parker and Blair back home. And Parker and Blair, okay. Yeah, and my boyfriend Jackson. Aww. That's right, she's off the scene. That's folks. right, that's right. She's got a boyfriend. And in fact, Sarah uh, uh, Gardner just said future champions. That's and there, these guys, both these girls raced last year in North Pole and won the Junior North American Championship. Alba in the, uh, and Clara in the three dogs. So they're going next week to race again. So next week's your guys' race, right? Yeah. That's right. Girl power. Right on. Well, congratulations to all y'all. That was beautiful. We were losing it today on Cordova because the dog team just looks so happy. And that's what we want to see, right? They were having fun. The crowd was having fun. Cool. I think we'll do it again tomorrow. Yeah, let's do it. Right on. Great job, everybody. Thank you, Alvin Clara. So brave, right? Mom, are they so brave? Getting on camera like that? Yeah. Well, they got this guy to look up to. And you, I think, right? Yeah. They're moms. No slouch, right? He's good. Well, remember the other day I tried and the dog was running around. Like, what is the thing? Thank you. You betcha. And here's Amy helped me out today. Amy Streeper was down on Cordova feeding me yeah, numbers and names. Yeah. Was that not a fun that day of racing? That was awesome. That was so fun. Yeah. And you raced this in 98. Correct. And you were Rookie of the Year. Yep. Right? Completed all three days. Yep. Yep. Sure did. Thanks for everything you do for this sport. Oh, hey, we love it. It was yeah. a, just a fun time watching that 18 dog team just yeah. charge. Really <laughs> watching all of them. They all look really good, actually. Yeah, yeah. no, the dog team said yeah. it's a little colder, right? We yep. can feel it on our yep. hands. The cloud yep. cover came over. It was good. Better conditions for dogs. Excellent. Thank you. Yes, thanks. Right on. Amy Streeper, her husband, Eddie, up in the booth helping out. We're going to go ahead and walk up the road a little bit, see some other dogs. We just got a good long interview with the champ, nine-time champion, Buddy Streeper. Here we go. It's different dog trailers, different setups. This is like a nice doggy hotel here for the Markleys. Look at that, I didn't get a chance. Eli, how'd dad do? What, do, do we know what position? Carrie came in? Last. Well, he, but that's not his position. Let's go ask him. Garrett, how we do, man? Can I get one second with Gary? Okay, thank you. Because the unique thing about Gary Markley is unlike the 200 dogs that some kennels have or 100 dogs, that some kennels has, or, or even 50 dogs yeah. that some kennels have, you have 20. Well, we have or 29. 29, okay. Yeah, 20. yeah, yeah, yeah. But about 20, uh, are they, can they all race, or do you have some older and some younger? Oh, right. Yeah, you got your, your pups, and you got your old dogs, you know, they all run, but you know, you train dogs, and then you got your, uh, 
And then you went ahead and, and were able to start with 14 yesterday. Yeah. Take second position yesterday. Yeah. yeah. All right. Pretty impressive turnout. And then how did today go? Oh, well, it went pretty good. Just real slow. I had a couple of tired dogs about four miles, five miles out. So we, you know, I'm not going to load them. So we just slowed way down and, and uh, just made it in. You know, so we'll regroup tomorrow see what we got. And you had the experience and the, and the patience and... Just a steady run is what we're looking for tomorrow. If we get into the third day, should, everything should be, you know, the second day is always a tough day on this race. So. Eddie Sweeper said that this morning. Yeah. Day two is hard, right? It's a tough, tough day. So we, we made it through. Not too bad. And loaded dog. I mean, you know, I had a couple of tired dogs for sure. But, uh, you know, so, yeah. Congratulations. Super proud of you, man. Awesome. Beautiful dogs. We just got a big old star from Nicole Reed there for you. All right. Yeah, yeah and Rob Rob Warden out in New York. Go, Keep it up, Gary. Rob. Nice job. Thank you, Rob. <laughs> right on. Thank you both. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. There you go. Gary Markley, bib number two this today. Had the second fastest run yesterday with a small kennel out of Salcha. That's a lot of respect. And Michael Tetzner, what a great run for Michael again, in my opinion. I don't know all the results yet, Michael, but on Cordova, your team looked happy. They looked. <laughs> they oh, I go out and then suddenly was Gary behind me and I think, oh, maybe I stay a little bit too much on the brake. And then I opened the brake and then I drove away from him. You know? Yeah. How are you feeling about your position? I am here nothing right now, but I think, uh, what is my position? You know? I don't know yet, but I, I just know yeah. your dogs are looking good and that's where you want to be, right? Yeah. What's good? I'm not top five, so. That's yeah. Right. yeah. I keep I telling everybody. You I'm out there. <laughs> you looked it. And now Michael's doing some work on his sled. That's part of it. Everybody uh, works on all their refurb, getting the skis ready, getting the dogs, all their uh, rehydration and everything. Wow, here we go. We got all the clips. Look at that. There's so many little duties that have to be done. All the little clips of the dog team. These dog trucks are really cool. Excellent. Okay. Well, there you are, friends. There's the uh, outhouse race coming up here soon. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out here. You just had interviews with the top three teams here. We'll be back tomorrow for the pregame, 11 o'clock.